Good morning, peers. My name is Ibiam. I'm on a tour on a um, holiday uh, by the Natari group to this wonderful place that I needed to do this little history of. You can oversee what I am showing is a little orchard here um, that uh, is housed by a beautiful resort that you can oversee from the other end of the of the farm um what i saw here is very interesting this is a resort that gives out almost in a day um they make almost in a day per day over three thousand dollars three thousand dollars for visitors each do each person paying a minimum of three dollars and three thirty dollars uh, per day, thirty dollars per day. Maybe because of the lockdown, I just have to estimate hundred visitors, and they have this wonderful resort. And I'm going to show you the resorts in full uh, later. But this is what I did yesterday. I had and day before yesterday, I had just enjoyed the uh, the resorts and the holiday. But today, I decided to sneak out of the enjoyment to actually look at the economic value of farming. This little resort actually had this farm surrounded by it because it's not even on a wonderful place. You, you can't discover that that kind of wonderful resort is actually found in this bush. But see, this is cassava farm. Uh, this is actually a preparing for other kinds of fruits. I don't know what they want to plant there, but I know that there's something that is actually cooking. They're going to plant with this irrigation setup. This is the orchard. And as I'm telling you, the resorts alone provide the farmer with more income than his farms, which is a lesson that I want Nigerian farmers to begin to think before they go into farming. There is no how somebody can make money in farming depending on what he makes out of his yield. There is a way of strategizing and doing something more strategic. By the other side of the, of the, of the resort, it's a rubber plantation. And beside our fruits, vegetable um, farm, very close on the other end, on the east west, or I mean the east side of the resort. And everything galvanized for a farmer's income. There are millions of um, visitors coming in here every day to explore their recreational life. And the farm received more income to be able to keep moving, provide irrigations, provide the necessary um, input to get the best out of the farm. Look at this. The, the, the farmer has to think farming. This is durian fruits and different kinds of expensive fruits in Thailand. He's used as a model for building the houses. So everything still speaks about farming. I want to let us know this. That until Nigerian farmers begin to think this way, we may not actually meet up the uh, the African Millennium Goal, which is a trillion dollar investment. So we need to think. We need to think like people who wants to make business out of farming and not just a way of life. And so we need to think. We need to think. I came up to do this, sneak out to do this, so that I will educate my farmers, my younger farmers, my millennium farmers, and those farmers who want to make money, to see that there is a way we can make farming. Look at it. This is a resort. And you can see the resort. You can see the number of cars, people who came to actually uh, see and take time out. Over a hundred families are here, and each person pays $300 per day. $300 per day. That is a huge investment. So I'm going to take you down to the other side of the farm, of the resort, the west side of the resort. And you could see it overlooking the, the resort is 
a farm and that farm is vegetable farm so you can see it and you can see all around these are trees can be that have been used to actually produce some beauties in the resort and then you can actually see something look at it go over there you could see uh, different kinds of vegetables this is um what do i call this this is uh, sugar cane that is different fruits that is the rubber plantation over there and you can look at it and you can see the um beans you can see okra you can see watermelon you can see eggplant everything galvanized you can see orange they are all part of what makes agriculture worthwhile i want us to become sensible as we go into farming in this millennium with the mindset that for us to become a trillion dollar investment we need to think business and not just a way of life that is what natari nigeria wants to bring in agriculture thank you